Hi everyone, in this section I'm going to show you how you can connect two Mikrotik routers together wirelessly. Okay, so in this lab we're going only to connect Mikrotik 2 to Mikrotik 1 wirelessly and then in the upcoming labs we are going to distribute the internet service that is coming from Mikrotik 1 to Mikrotik 2 to share it to users via wired and wireless connectivity. Okay. By the end of this lecture, you'll be able to understand what is the difference between wireless access point and wireless station. Connect MicTik 2 wirelessly to MicTik 1 router and test if the lab is done correctly. Before I go with these uh, steps here, let me only show you what we have to do here. Uh, we have over here MicTik 1 is connected to the internet and it is distributing wireless for people to be able to connect to MicTik 1 and uh, access to the internet using the SSID of MicTik Home. Okay. So normally what you used to do to put a cable normally between two routers and then for this Microtik 2 to be able to provide internet also in its area. Okay, but now what we have to do is uh, we don't need to put a cable. We have to use the wireless connectivity. Then Microtik 2 can be connected to Microtik 1 by wave. Okay. This is really what we need to do for this lab now. Before we uh, start the implementation, let me just give you a small explanation about the different modes on MicroTik. There are many modes, but the two main modes are the access point bridge and station. Okay. Access point bridge is really what MicroTik wants is. That means that it has internet and it's distributing internet working like access point router. That's not what you have in your company at home. Okay, so if your router needs to provide internet connectivity wirelessly, then you have to set the mode to access point bridge. The station is what Microtik 2 is here, meaning that it needs to receive the wireless connectivity from Microtik 1. By the way, station mode should be between two Microtik routers. Okay, so it received the wireless to Microtik 2. So Microtik 2 will be something like a repeater or you can say slave or whatever you want to call it. So it received the wireless to, from Microtik 1 and then they are connected wirelessly together. All right, let's now go and check what we have to do in this lab. We need to reset Microtik 2 with, uh, with no default configuration. All right, let me go to Winbox. I go to Microtik Two. There were some configuration previously here. I will have to um, go to system. We have to go to reset configuration, no default configuration, and then we reset it. Okay. While waiting, let's see what we have to do in the step number two. So now what we have to do is to connect to Winbox, and then we have to, from point number three onward, we have to start making our access point a station. Okay, and these steps three, four are really the main steps to do. And then the five is to check uh, if we are connected correctly. Okay, now Microtik 2 is here. So now the name is Microtik, now IP address I connect to the MAC address. Before I move onward, let me just show you uh, that I have an IP on my interface card here of 10.0.0.2. You can see it over here. Okay, I need to set on my router Microtik 2 now, an IP, so I go to IP address and then 10.0.0.1 slash 24. Why am I putting an IP on Ethernet 1 interface? It's because connecting to MAC address can be unstable. So I prefer always to connect to the IP address. You can see now it is here. I click on the IP, login, admin, password, nothing, connect, and now I'm inside the box. That's what I want. All right, so connect to Winbox. That's fine. Create the security profile as the as same password of the wireless on Microtik 1. Again, if I go back to the picture here, Microtik 1 is distributing internet wirelessly. All right. We want Microtik 2 to connect to Microtik 1 via wireless. Say, let's, let's forget about Microtik 2 and let's say we have a PC here. Okay. And it needs to connect to Microtik 1. Then it has to look to the SSID. It will connect to the SSID. And then here it will ask for the password. Then it should put the password here, which is the same password that it's on Microtik 1. And then in this case, this laptop is, this PC is connected to Microtik 1. The same idea we have to apply over here on Microtik 2. For Microtik 2 to be able to connect to Microtik 1, 
it has to connect to this SSID and it should put the correct password which is on Microtik 1 and in this case Microtik 2 can be connected. Of course we need to do some more steps like putting the mode station but this is really the logic that we have to do. So the first uh, thing they asked us here to make the security profile to be the same as the wireless on Microtik 1. Okay I will go to wireless here I create security profile I say plus and then the profile is I know the password of uh, Microtik 1 wireless so I will put it here Okay, so the password is set here and then it's fine. Let's see now, we have created the security profile. It is already done. Number four, configure WLAN on Microtik 2 to be as a station and connect wirelessly to Microtik 1. So now we have already the password set. What we need to do now is to connect the Microtik 2 to Microtik 1 wirelessly. To do that, we have to go inside this interface, the WLAN, of Microtik 2. Let me just put the name of Microtik Microtik 2 identity so we can uh, recognize identity Microtik 2. It's now changed Microtik 2. Fine. So I go inside the interface of WLAN 1. Inside the interface here, you see the modes here. We have many modes. What I need now to put is station. Okay. Band 2 gigahertz BG. That's okay. Channel 20. That's fine. Frequency, let me put it auto. The SSID, the SSID is, we look here, is Microtik Home. All right. Let me just put it Microtik Home. Microtik Home. Okay. Scan list, we keep it default. Wireless protocol, security profile, the profile we have just created. All right. And the rest will stay the same. This is really what we need to do. I will say apply and then OK. Be careful that here the interface is disabled. So I will make it enable. If our work is correct, in the moment we will see an R. Here we go. You see this R here? R means running. And that means that my Microtik 2 router is now connected to Microtik 1. And from here you can see the registration. All right. So it is registered now. And you can see how much the speed now it's getting between the two uh, Microtik routers. So at this uh, level, I can say that uh, Microtik 2 is now a station to Microtik 1. Okay. Now we have to uh, continue the lab and see what we have to do. We have done it. Check if you are connected correctly. Yes, we saw the R. And now uh, Microtik uh, one, normally it has a DHCP server enabled because it is a wireless access point bridge and it distribute internet so it should give IP addresses. Okay, so what we need to do now is to receive an IP address on WLAN from Microtik 1. So on WLAN 1 of Microtik 2 from Microtik 1. That, that means if we uh, look here again, let me just uh, take out all those. So now we are connected. We have a connectivity between the two routers. The interface here is called WLAN 1. WLAN 1 is the interface of the wireless which is connected to Microtik 1. Then we need now to have an IP on WLAN 1. To do that, as we have here an access point on this router, that means the HTTP is enabled. And then the HTTP means it can give IP address to WLAN 1. Okay. So let's see how we can do it. So it's quite easy. We have done this work before. So we go to IP DHCP client. And then from here plus, I put it on WLAN, use peer DNS, use peer NTP, that's fine. Add default route, so it will receive a route from the Microtik one, that's also okay. And then I will say apply. Okay, now searching, and here we go. We have now an IP address on WLAN one, received from Microtik one. To be sure, we can just check IP address, and here we go, it's dynamic. Okay. To this level, I think that uh, this lab has uh, been uh, done correctly. Now, in the next uh, lab, we are going to see how we can now distribute internet from Microtik 2 to uh, PCs. But till now, this Microtik 2 now have internet. Okay. And afterward, now we have to work from here down, either wirelessly or wired. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I see you in the upcoming videos.